in the shop with the Mad Snapper. We're going to play with plumbing in the motorcycle shop, the car lot, car shop, LS swap. You know, stuff. We do stuff. But we need our air compressor so we can paint maybe one day. I don't know. Yep, here we go. Let's do it. Little Vulcan project coming up. Purpose of this video, we want to know if PEX line can really be used as airline in a shop. So we have a hundred foot of a three quarter inch PEX line, 50 bucks. We've got 60 foot, nope, excuse me, 30 foot and five foot section, half inch PEX line for each drop. So we're gonna put a three quarter line all the way around there through the shop, two more bays and drop in the middle, drop over there, drop over here, and blah, 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 so forth. Typical automotive fitting. Yep. We got the man crimpers. That, that hurt myself last time I had to use picks. And today, we're going to talk about this. For that style. Yep, 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 yep. That is the goal. So, let's go drill some holes and uh, run some line and get some fittings put together and we'll see if it works. My compressor usually holds around, I think it tops off at 180, but I've got it set to 120. Um, over here, I'm gonna put a, another dryer system so I can paint. I'll put some fans out there. Filtered air comes through here. I don't paint every day, all day, so three or four times a year to do just what I want. Yep, yep. Over here in the machine shop side, say that three times fast, machine shop side. Got my pipe bender, we got a sandblaster, one machine plasma cutter. I'm gonna put a drop there on that one, a drop over here because another motorcycle table is gonna go here. And we're gonna have a drop over here, that way I can do the plasma or the air thing. And the compressor is way in that room over there. There we go, I'll show ya. Do, 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 do. Compressor is here. Can you see, can you see? I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna come out this wall, go through that wall, and where the trim is, it's about where it's gonna go. And then I've got an electrician friend who's gonna come and make all this a lot prettier. Get rid of this HVAC stuff, get rid of this water heater, because that is gonna get turned into a shower room one day. Yep, get a couple of these projects out of here so I've got more room. I got some more equipment I want to bring in here and get it organized. But for now, let's run some line and see if it actually works. I've seen good things on the YouTube. Time for me to try it myself. All right. I don't remember if I said this. I might have just said it in the voiceover. But we got the adapter. It's basically just galvanized. You can use the black pipe or galvanized. Half inch pipe thread to quarter inch pipe thread. And then all these fittings are gonna be quarter inch pipe thread. And a half inch elbow. Half inch male thread, half inch female thread. Quarter inch male, quarter inch female. Unrolling the three quarter inch pecs now. So let's get that knocked out. Here we go. Pex line project. We are about two hours in. This is actually the next day. That's pretty cool, huh? So we have the main three quarter line coming out, going through the wall. This old brick was a pain in the butt. Uh, I'll show you the fitting, doing the compressor later. Because I gotta have lights. So, three quarter line coming out there. Here's a half inch drop. Three quarter line going through that wall. We got another drop over here by the compressor. And then I'm gonna make a hole going through the wall and just feed off this. That way I don't have to do another one of these on the other side. Like I originally was planning, I was like, hey, that's stupid and a waste of material. No sense in putting a T there and running one down when I can just literally go through this 
crappy ass wall that somebody put up. Anyway, this is where we're at now. Getting rid of some of the material. Putting this T in for this drop. Putting this one low so I can use it on my compressor. I should put another line here and keep this compressor, I'm not compressor, tire machine on full time, but I rarely use the machine, like maybe once a month. So I'll get a little hose. I gotta get a plate for the switch. That way this is on all the time. And those are for my lights. I'm gonna do a Wi-Fi Orbi mesh satellite over here. So I'm about to measure from here to there. Get that mounted and then i got one more run to do and a drop over there so this is where we're at right now and i have no method to the madness you can see where i use this style crimp and that style crimp it's because i don't know why so keep it all the same but whatever I had a lot more picks stuff than i originally thought because when I have issues at one of the houses, I uh, use the PEX product without the shark bites for any underground stuff. All right, anyway, that's an update. Let me knock this out. I'll probably have it done in about uh, another hour. Here we go. Finally done with version 1.0. I might do some more later. So what I'm doing now is I got some soapy water and a flashlight. And I am testing everything I've got um the pressure up to 90 psi looking for bubbles no bubbles I've already done the ones up top so I'm doing these ones down here oh see a little bubble Little baby bubble. So I got one little tiny leak. It's not bad because I've held 90 PSI for over 30 minutes now. But one little baby bubble. No big deal. We can tighten that down. That's a twist fitting. Baby bubble. And what that is, is going to be these plastic fittings where just use the brass. If, if y'all got the extra money, use the brass over the plastic. I'll have to um, add more pipe tape because that's the only ones that are leaking. None of the uh, brass stuff is leaking. So two little tiny small leaks out of six. Oh, let's check this one. No bubble. But if I had to, I could still use it. No bubble. Yep. I'll probably just rewrap those and tighten them up a little bit more. Let's check this one over here that I did a minute ago. Still no bubbles. What is that? Yay, so far so good. Ooh, I forgot to do one. I meant to put a T there and come down this wall. I sure enough did. Dang it, whatever. I'll do it later. Still no bubble there. I went ahead and checked some of my other fittings while I was in here too. Still no bubble there. No bubbles up there. And we're still at. Let's put this down. We're still basically at 90. So I might have lost a half pound. Sweet. I'm going to let that sit for the rest of the night. Let's see where it's at in the morning. Then I will uh, start cleaning this shop up. And then I will redo those two that are leaking. Anyway, this PIX line work as airline. Yes. Uh, 
A friend of mine is running 150 PSI at his tire shop and he had no issues. It's a big mess to pick up. I will tell you that last little bit, the last little little bit that you use because of the curl in that uh, in the main pecs, that three quarter, it comes in a roll, but because it's curled, it likes to keep its shape curled. Man, I knocked everything off the table, off the toolboxes, off that. But I'm gonna say I've got uh, probably four hours in total, and that's including going to the store to go pick up everything. Two trips, four hours in total to do 150 foot of pex line. It was 100 foot of three quarter, 50 foot of half inch with one, two, three, four. I only did five drops out of my six. So not too bad. Will I do it again? Yeah. Yep. Because I was, I am in it probably around 200 bucks and that was because I bought the tool and the kit. A kit to do that is probably going to be about 500 and it's basically the same thing. It's aluminized PEX is what you get at the Northern Tool and some of the airlines, that blue stuff. Anywho, thanks for watching. Time for me to go. Okay, I didn't have to rewrap nothing. I tightened it down a little more. I thought I was going to break it. It was plastic. I just grabbed it with the pair of pliers and a wrench. Four more turns. No leaks. Have a good day.